So I have to get a universal radiator for this car because the one that will fit it cost an arm and a leg. It's near impossible to find a use and so I got this universal one. Hopefully uh, it fits okay. The measurements were somewhat close, but this is what we got. It's aluminum radiator. Not bad at all. Put off. It sits down in there. Gotta brace it in. This hole's over some. Gotta put another hose right there. But this gonna work. This gonna work. This gonna work. Today we're gonna discuss a quick video about radiators. Uh, this is the radiator that came out of the V6, uh, the Cologne engine, uh, the Mustang 2 V6. And I'll show you guys the V8, what the V8 um, radiator looked like. It, it'll work, although I think this is uh, has less cores than the V8 one. Um, but it definitely will work in the V8. I'm going to measure it as well. You guys see the both transmission lines at the bottom. The lower outlet holes uh, is on the driver's side. In that hose, passenger side. Let's see what size this is. This is a one and one fourth inch hose. So this fits on here. One and fourth inch hose. This is a one and a half inch size. Just fit over. So it's one and a half inch. Won't fit. So it's one and one fourth. So it's twenty one inches. Twenty one inches long. The core is 20 and a quarter. 20 and a quarter. And the top of this thing is 20 and a half inches. About three and a quarter inches wide. And the side is. One and seven things in. So the, the V8 radiator, the radiator came in the V8, uh, is wider than this, but this will work. So let's measure the top length. I'm trying to one hand this, guys. Bear with me. So 21 and a quarter inch from that tip to this tip. So this will work. Of course, they they both are Mustangs. This will work in all of them. But the setup for the 2.3, of course, driver side uh, for the inlet, passenger side for the outlet. So. Um, Let's measure the V8 and we'll close the video out. This is the radiator I purchased. It's a universal radiator, uh, specifically for small block Chevys, uh, big blocks, uh, racing applications. Uh, this is 22 by 19 inches, not far from uh, the size of the radiator that came in that uh, 2.3 engine. Um, the hose orientation is what I was looking for, and I didn't want it to be too tall, so it kind of fit really decent, uh, especially for what I needed. But I spent about $105 for it, delivered to the house, free shipping. So uh, it was perfect for me. It worked great. And if you have an automatic and want to upgrade your radiator to something like this, uh, you can buy many uh, universal transmission coolers online. They're fairly cheap, uh, inexpensive. Um, but for any application, uh, if you want to go with something like this, uh, that will um, give you a better cooling uh, for your vehicle because it is a... Uh, bigger radiator than what comes in the vehicle. So I just want to note that. Oh, and by the way, here are a few places where I found the radiator at the original radiator or radiator that fits that application. Uh, this is what they're going for. Just in case uh, you wanted to purchase one, um, this is what they're going for. This is one of the, probably one of the cheaper ones. And uh, this is was the other one that was for the 78 and 77. Okay, guys, so here's the V8. Um, original V8 radiator. Uh, this is the V8 uh, Mustang. This is the radiator that came in here. As you can see off the bat that it's um, 
much thicker than the other one. Uh, I believe it's also longer. If you measure from here to here. Yeah, it's actually longer radiator as well. But of course, these are Mustangs, so it'll fit in the four cylinder and the six cylinder car. But the problem is the the hose alignment for the 2.3, of course, um, top hose is on the driver's side, bottom hose on the passenger side. You guys can see bottom hose is um, like the V6 orientation. So the V6 Mustang um, can work in here fine. Um, I don't think this vehicle will run hot because this is a, a bigger engine and this is a thicker radiator with, um, it has more cores than the V6 um, radiator, but um, had this ready to go bad, if this radiator ever had a problem, I don't think I have a problem using the V6 in here. As you can see, the transmission lines are in the same location. And the V6 radiator got new lines, they're going there. Same thing. And the valve is on the same side as well. I can see it down there. It's just tough to find the radiator for the 2.3 Mustang. It's very difficult to find it. Trust me, I've been looking for quite a minute. I mean, you can find it if you want to spend 600 bucks for it. And uh, the aluminum radiator cost me 100 bucks. Shipped to my door. So I'll put the link in the description box. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'll be posting back to back with more stuff. Every fine detail I can with these Mustangs before I move on to other vehicles when I get done with these. Um, I should have a wealth of knowledge or information online. So if you guys need anything or need to see anything, let me know. Uh, once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. Most importantly, Terrence, I'm out.